Why is this 12 year old unattended? Where are your parents? From the developers of Life is Strange and Vampire comes Jusan, a game about climbing and discovering a long lost world. Use your skill to navigate diverse biomes and master your toolkit to find hidden treasures. As you scale immeasurable heights, ascend the tall tower to piece together its past. Made in Unreal Engine 5, Jusant employs one of Don't Nod's signature styles and I must say it looks quite good. I won't go so far as to say it's overused, but it's a look that's been used by them before and by other creators as well. As you explore you'll discover exotic biomes with unique fauna and flora that will help you on your way. From the blistering heat to the rock's dark recesses, the lighting was good and you'll even sport some dope shades in the scorching sunlight. The diverse ecosystems were very inviting with a cartoonish aesthetic that will be sure to delight any curious mind. Jusant is best experienced with the controller, using the right and left trigger buttons to operate each hand and the left joystick to control their placement. It took a little getting used to, but once I did it became second nature. There's a meditative quality to it once you've mastered the controls. Once you no longer have to think about it, you can really enjoy the sights and sounds the game has to offer. There aren't many puzzles in the traditional sense, but rather they come in the form of rock climbing challenges, like an obstacle course that requires thoughtful pathing and stamina management. Even though the kid has the grip strength of a gorilla, even gorillas get tired. You can rest mid-climb to regain some of your stamina or regain all of it back by finding solid ground or a rest point. Use your pitons to save yourself some trouble if you ever slip or as an anchor point to swing from. Occasionally, you can even call on your little blue friend for some help as well. Even though Jusant has relatively simple objectives, I love that it doesn't hold your hand more than it needs to. Oftentimes, painted ledges are a little too obvious, or a companion gives out hints like it's burning a hole in their pocket. But in Jusant, the painted ledges are subtle and at times almost unnoticeable. The level designs are relatively linear with a start and end point, but you do have a little bit of freedom on how to get there. Admittedly, it's not much. It's usually just a choice between the left or right path. However, there's no pressure or time constraint that forces you to go from point A to B, so feel free to explore to your heart's content and travel at a speed that's comfortable to you. The puzzles start off fairly easy and steadily become a bit more challenging, but shouldn't ever give you a hard time. The only gripe I had was the game could have used a bit more polish. The mechanics are solid, but the animations can be janky, especially if you get stuck on the most innocuous geometry. This will result in you violently spinning the joystick and mashing jump in an attempt to break free. We've all been there. The music has a serene and melancholy vibe that fits the game very well. The soundscape is fantastic and each area has its own unique set of auditory tracks that are relaxing like listening to whale sounds, and in some cases, it literally is. The shell in the first area echoes the ebb and flow of gentle tides, the crashing of ocean waves against water-eroded rocks, and seagulls swalking. It's a chance for some poor landlubbers to experience the sound of the salty sea. Jusant's story is divided into chapters and is told through collectible letters, journal entries, as well as the environment. The murals you find will make more sense upon reflection as you uncover the history of the tower and its inhabitants. Even without a single spoken word, the storytelling is effective, and it was the mystery that continued to fuel my curiosity, driving me to search out these written logs. Other collectibles such as shells had interesting world building through sound, and the rock cairns were just nice to find. Collectibles are missable on your first playthrough, but you will be able to return to previous chapters once you've completed the game. It was reported a few months after release that the game failed to meet commercial expectations, and the production team was subsequently disbanded, which is really sad since I like this game a lot. Jusant is a meditative and tranquil adventure, the kind of game to sit by the fire and feel cozy playing. Through its inviting aesthetics and effective world building, it's a simple game to pick up and play, but easy to immerse yourself in. 
It may be a little rough around the edges, but that didn't negatively affect my experience. If you have around 5 hours to spare, it's worth a play. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and see you next time.